My name is Joanne. I'm a process engineer here in Fab24. The engineering is a lot of scientific knowledge, but as well combined with hands-on experience. Every day is a different day, and we work on a cutting-edge technology. The best piece of advice I've ever been given is to learn something new every day. I would like to go to Costa Rica and work on a sea turtle protection. I just love my son holidays, but I would love to be able to combine that with uh, doing something great for our planet. So that's why I would love to go. Describe my job to a 10 year old, I would say that we make chips, but maybe not the chips that you think that we make. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a process engineer in Fab24. I was always interested in kind of science experiments. I wanted to kind of apply those kind of skills and Intel was a kind of a nice fit for that. Technology is so diverse nowadays and there's so many things going on. And it's kind of nice to see how these new technologies could not so much be invented, but can be adapted into everyday life. Intel is great for the work-life balance and I do take advantage of that. I like to get involved in a lot of sports. Getting outdoors, getting a bit of fresh air always helps clear the head for me. The best piece of advice I've ever given was from my mom, which is to believe in yourself. As to say, if you believe that you can do something, you're already halfway there. Hi, I'm Ridula, and I work as a deep learning R&D engineer. My favorite subject at school was physics. I was always curious to find out how things work. At Intel, we work at the forefront of cutting edge technology. There's a lot to learn every single day, which makes it exciting to come to work every day. I like to learn a martial art to make me more confident and make me strong and powerful. <laughs> This is really intimidating, oh my god. Hi, I'm Lisa, I'm a process engineer in Fab24. I did a PhD in chemistry. A process engineer job at Intel was perfect for what I was doing. We work with chemicals every day. My favorite thing about working for Intel is the people. If there's something wrong, everyone can then work towards a solution. I've got a sabbatical coming up as well with Intel, so I'm hoping to visit Japan. I'm a bit obsessed with the cherry blossoms, so I'd go in that season as well when the cherry blossoms are in bloom for the gram. <laughs> I was always interested in electronics from my childhood, so that motivated me. Hi, I'm Mahesh. I'm working as a design verification engineer. I'm part of Intel Movidios group. The work we do at Movidios, it's in the field of artificial intelligence. I would want to see technology in the field where it can fix the problem of people migrating from small towns to big cities. The biggest inspiration I can think of is my mother and my wife. Their philosophy of contributing selflessly for future generations is something I would want to adopt in my work and my life as well. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm a hardware validation engineer and I work with Intel Movidius. Intel have a program with UCD where they take in master's students for internships. I was lucky enough to be selected. I've been in Intel about a month now. The size of the site here is amazing. Still getting lost now every so often. It's just crazy the amount of people that work here. I'm delighted that I actually ended up in engineering. My sister talked me into it and I had to give her a big thank you a few years down the line because it's let me travel around the world. I was over in the States funded for research, which was awesome. When I was in school, a career advice person told me, oh, engineering would really suit you as a job. I was like, really? You know, <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Hi, my name is Anita and I'm an environmental engineer. Our whole aim is to protect the environment. It's really cool when you're trying to solve a problem, you work together, you brainstorm. I love yoga and also hill walking. I just love, love being outside with nature. Just follow what you really enjoy doing and that's always good advice for me anyway.